Diamond Painting friends, Jessica here with Tiny Worlds of Wonder, stopping in for a little project introduction today. Now this is really take two of an unboxing I filmed maybe six or eight weeks ago during the height of the road construction near my house. And I got everything filmed and it was great. And then I realized my camera was shaking like an earthquake the whole time. And it was one of those moments as a creator where you just say, screw it for today. We're going to try it again later. So this is me trying it again later. And of course, I can't unbox this canvas again because it's already out of the box, but I can show you what I have. So that's what I'm going to do today. Now, this is a canvas with original art by the very talented Medusa the doll maker. Medusa the doll maker is a very popular artist when it comes to licensed everything. Her artwork is everywhere. She's a Spanish artist. The thing I love about her work is that it's so diverse. She sometimes has this very vintage-esque, mucha-like aesthetic, and then sometimes it's a little more fan art-like, and sometimes it's a little more steampunk, but it's always super cool. So huge thanks to Medusa the doll maker for letting me show this canvas on my channel today. This canvas is, of course, from my one of my very favorite shops, DIY Moon Shop. I love DIY Moon Shop. I love Rowana and Reggie. And I, I have so much fun with their canvases. And so I was super excited to get my hands on this one. Now this one is called Anderson's Little Mermaid. And I'll show you the top half. We have a lot of glare as usual, but I'll peel back the top cover and see if it helps just a bit to get give you a little better idea with a little less glare of what's going on here. And I'll do my usual procedure of showing you the top and bottom and then maybe a long view as well. So what really caught my eye on this particular canvas is the very Art Nouveau sort of style of this illustration. I absolutely love it. I am a fairy tale lover. I'm 40 years old and I love fairy tales, but we have to own all our quirks. So there we are. <laughs> so there's the top half of the canvas. Let me show you the bottom half because the bottom half is absolutely glorious. This one was made to order. So it took a good, you know, six to eight weeks to get to me back when I ordered this, and I'm sorry I don't have the dates to hand right at the moment, but it doesn't matter so much, so. So I don't know if you'll be able to see what we're looking at here, but we've really got her tail here, and then some seaweed, and we've got, it's a shell. She's got a shell there. And then Medusa the doll maker's signature down at the bottom, which I may see if I can make a little clearer because I want her signature to be on there if it possibly, if it possibly can be. And I wanna be able to read it too. Text is tricky on diamond paintings, as you well know. All right, so let's take a peek at the drills. I've already had, look at that beautiful, flat canvas. Isn't that glorious? <gasps> this one was shipped and packed really well when I got it. Okay. So I've had these out of the wrapper once before, so they usually look better than this. Nice and uniform and packaged beautifully when they arrive to you. But this is, this is what I did. Because like I said, I filmed this before. All right, here we go. So here's the legend for this canvas. DIY Moon Shop, like I've said before, doesn't have a printed legend on the side of their canvases. They just come on a separate strip of canvas. I kit up all my drills, so I really like that. It doesn't bother me one bit. I always save these, and they don't take up very much space if they're this skinny, so that's nice. I got this in the 50 by 77 round, and I chose round only because of price. I'll be honest. So DIY Moon Shop's rounds are a little bit less expensive than their squares. So that is why I picked this in rounds. But we have a lot of grays, browns, yellows, oranges. So under the sea colors going on here. But then, oh, my baggies. My other baggies. 
I also got in this particular canvas some free magenta special drills and they came with this kit at no extra charge when I ordered it. So look at how gorgeous, look at how gorgeous those are. That's going to be so fun. So fun. I love that DIY Moon Shop makes every canvas that they sell an experience for their customers. Like it's truly a creative experience. I really enjoy it. I'm going to slide some drills off my canvas and then I want to see if I can figure out where some of these colors go. So I want to see what some of her skin tones look like. This particular mermaid has 3856, peach, 945, light pink, and 3771. Work with me. Work with me here. Dark peach. So there we go. <laughs> Those are going to be the colors of her skin. I would like to know what color the background is as well. K611. Brownish green. 612. Avocado, let's call it. And brownish brown and some other colors too it looks like it's fairly dithered so it's got some color mixing on it yeah i don't know if you guys ever do that i like to know what colors are what so hopefully you can kind of see i'm filming in the afternoon instead of the morning so my lighting is not as good as usual today so there it is. This is my Anderson's Little Mermaid by Medusa, the doll maker. Of course, I'll keep you posted on how this goes as I start to work on it. I hope you have a fantastic week. Spread some joy wherever you are, and I'll catch you next time.